What excites you the most about real estate? It's the community. I play offensive line. There's five guys that have to come from different walks of life to create a team. And it's just like development. You need your consultants. You need everyone that, that makes things happen, your analytics, the finance department. That is the beauty. You're, you're, you're improving the communities you're in. It's tangible. You get to see it, touch it, feel it. And that's what I love most about real estate. What are some of the emerging trends in 2024 when it comes to real estate? Number one thing we're working on at Massimo for all our clients is the implementation of artificial intelligence. It's significant. We have now bots calling, texting, conversing with investors and owners and tenants. I think you're going to see that truly impact commercial real estate like no one's anticipating yet. So artificial intelligence is where it is. If things have slowed down. I mean, I think we all know that. Um, I think it's going to be going forward. Um, really neighborhood and kind of area a little more specific than it used to be in the last few years where you could kind of do something anywhere and it worked out. Now it's going to be, I think it's going to separate the people who really know what they're doing from the people who maybe don't as much. And it's going to be really local specific and really neighborhood specific. AI is really taking off and you either have to know what you're doing to use it right now and start using it to get ahead of that curve or you're going to end up falling behind because there's so much that AI can do to save you time as a broker to really put you ahead of everybody else that's in right now. Um, some emerging trends, I guess our industry is very state specific, um, so it really depends on where we're looking. But one of the things that we're noticing is that, I mean, the market rate multifamily, things are coming to a uh, standstill. It's really slowing down. but because we're working with subsidies and we're able to work with uh, uh, government grants and tax credits and all that, we're able to find creative ways to finance our projects, get deals done, and still be able to get projects done and provide housing for low-income families, which is um, really exciting.